I guess one of the one of the questions that's there at the moment, I've seen a few businesses out there, and I know you guys aren't about this, but I've seen a couple of businesses out there where they will do things like um, look at the SEO content of a competitor's website and then mass produce huge amounts of content to compete with their organic traffic and remove the footfall, et cetera, et cetera. And obviously the advent of the new Google um, anti-AI platform that's that's coming out to detect AI posts and content. Where do you see the future of AI going with all of this? Because there's balance. Like, how do we police the right way for marketing to be done? I know you guys aren't, aren't about, I know it's content at scale, but it's, it's done responsibly. I like the way you guys talk about it when we've, when we've discussed the product. What's your thoughts on where the industry is going as a whole on that? Yeah, that's a, that's a tough one. There's going to be a lot of pain before there's a, a, a accurate and good solution. I think that while AI detection is currently out and we have it, we have the ability to detect AI content it is not a perfect science. Um, and that's where we get things like we have AI detectors uh, showing the, the Declaration of Independence as being AI generated. Gener generated. We have um, students that may have written, you know, their papers by hand and it's showing up as AI generated. And we're going to consistently see that. And it's going to be a cat and mouse game with AI generated content and AI detection kind of matching that. Um, we will see bad actors in SEO. It's going to happen. It's already happening to where, just like you said, we have somebody that maybe wants to try to steal traffic from a competitor. And so they're literally just take, ingesting the site map and saying, I want to generate all of these articles. But here's the thing about most AI tools. This it goes back to the, the, one of the very first things I said, which is garbage in, garbage out. So when you take a site map and you said, I just want to mass produce all of these articles. Well, the thing that you're losing there is you're losing the EEAT from Google. So you're using that ex losing the expertise, you're losing the authority, you're losing the trust and all the things that make a really good article good and, and, and beneficial to the reader. And so, yes, an AI tool can mass produce AI content, but it shouldn't just stop there. This is one of those moments where you have an output from an AI, hit that gas pedal even harder, go inside of that article, add some additional thoughts to it, make that content piece even better, and satisfy the search intent of that actual keyword. And if you can do that, even within just an hour of your time, you're creating a awesome piece of content that's, that Google's going to love, and you're not going to get uh, slapped by Google, just like many people did in this past March update. If you create a AI content and it's straight out of ChatGPT, you just posted it on your site, you're in a bad spot right now because what you did is you just took a garbage output from an AI and just thought, I can just throw this up on my site with minimal stuff done to it. Like, no, you still need to be a marketer. You still need, AI is here, but AI needs you. If you're listening to this, AI needs you to take its hand and give it that extra flair to then, you're basically just leveling up your content. So use that and leverage the AI system, but don't lose the human factor from it. Put your foot on the gas pedal, go harder into that content, make sure you give an awesome piece and try to win every single person with each piece of content that you produce. I love that phrase. I need you. I just have a picture of like the um, the old Uncle Bob, um, American, you know, conscription advert point point on the camera. Like AI needs you. It's it's totally true. <laughs> it's totally true. And I think uh, I I I talk to a lot of people. I'm a big advocate for AI where it's suitable to use it. And I come across a lot of people trying to use it for things it's just not good at right now. Maybe never will be. But I also come across. Like you see, a lot of people who just want to fast track their laziness and get to the end result without any output from them. And so to what we said earlier about, you know, if you, if your job is literally to take one input and create another output without any effort, you're going to get replaced. And for me, it's like, like AI can create the start point. It can get you 80% of the way there and you've got to do the last 20%. Or... It can, you can do the first 20% and it'll get you the other 80%. But either way, it's got to have that mix in there. Of the, of the two, like the combination of the two, it locked you. I think you called it symbiotic, right? Like it's, it is, it's got to be that 
mm. connection of the two that makes it greater than either of the, like i don't have the skills to write a long form blog i'm not a copywriter i would love ai to write me one all of its own accord and it reflect my memory and my experiences and opinions but it doesn't have my memory experiences and opinion so if all i've got to do when i get to a blog is go right here's my experience of this here's my viewpoint on this and here's how this has impacted on me and add those into the blog that blog can have sings and dances if we've done our job with the ai right? and that's that's kind of like i love that's where you guys have gone with your input like i i when we when we talked about and this isn't <laughs> this isn't a promo for you guys by any way but like when we talked about the platform, I love the, the the responsible way in which you guys delivered that over to the end client. Is it's this isn't the magic answer, this isn't the magic solution, but we take a lot of the work out of it for you, and it's best in class. And I love that. I love that. What's what's next for you guys? What's what's in your what's on your horizon for this year? Because you've you've undoubtedly got some big things coming. <laughs> 